ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We are doing picks and bands. So it looks like U of L versus NKU. I accidentally hit full screen there. Don't know what NKU stands for. North Kentucky University. North Kentucky. All right. Yep. Okay. So, starting off with an Odin band from U of L and an Audio band, really standard. Very, very standard at this point. But uh, so you did get to to watch the game from yesterday. Uh, I watched half of game one. It was a okay. little hard because the way you guys were casting, uh, I don't know. Yeah. It was just like sometimes you were talking over each other or talking very off topic that I just couldn't focus yeah. on it. Oleron Band, uh, I'm not surprised by this. I know some people are, but uh, I think Oleron in the meta is still pretty good. I know Synth's not going to play him like you said last night. But this ADC from NK, you could definitely pick him up. I mean, his oh, ults are arguably one of the best ults in the game. It's on a high cooldown, but, I mean, you you literally just get to stop the enemy team from moving for a good amount of time. Yeah. So it's clutching I mean, those late-game team fights. Uh, you know, they could move if they utilize their beads or something like that, but, you know, it's, it's a relic for a really big area. <laughs> you know, anybody in that area would have to use those relics. So uh, Cerberus ban in the hell. Cerberus, and, a little strange. I feel like he's not the best solo laner in the game at the moment. I still don't even think he's top three. I you know, I think that's Odin, Nike, Achilles, or Ardeo. And Cerberus is like, I'm here. Okay. I, yeah. Hi, I feel like the Heim is definitely a weird pick too because, well, I, I mean, he's my, good, but he's not in the top three best yeah, ADCs. Yeah. Aphrodite locked in immediately. Uh, what I was going to say about the Cerberus is uh, maybe it's a ban against their plan. You know, their plan draft. Maybe oh. they have sustained comp. A uh, Mulan. Mulan in the SPL is fragging right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like the soul. I really wish somebody, go, I hope somebody goes Zeus because uh, he's I undefeated in the SPL right now. Mm -hmm. I know last night, um, I think. The guy was saying that he thought Zeus was dog water, but <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I was just like, I'm on no. the opposite. I'm on the opposite <laughs> of that spectrum because yeah. give Herwin Zeus and he'll win every uh, game. Yes, Herwin has I mean, always that, been a master. That happened even with the Tartars Titans. Well, I mean, he was d dope on Zeus. They won that game, but then they mm -hmm. lost game two and three. Yeah, I was watching that. It was wait, games. wait, 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 Gab wait, wait. Gab, so Gab Solo question mark. Okay. You better play it Optimus Prime is Super, all I'm saying. Uh, I mean, show us. Show us what you got. We've seen your Kabrakin frag out. Autobots roll out, you know what I'm saying? I'm surprised we haven't seen him play this sooner. I think Geb in the Soul Lane is still very good after they changed his ult. Yes. But against a Mulan, I don't know. Mulan early game and mid game. You know, you've seen her in the SPL if you've mm -hmm. been watching it. She, she just dominates the early and mid games, and it's hard for the... Uh, other soul laner to really get much input in, but I think Geb's fine because, you know, that CC immune uh, rollout is a good counter to her ult just a little bit. If he can get it off in time, maybe predict his ult even is pretty good. Yeah. If she I ults, mean, you can ult to try to... It's also... I mean, it's not going to root her, but... The CC immunity from Geb's rollout comes at such a delay that I don't know... The only good thing I can say, um, seeing this, um, not talking about the laning fakes, is I have no idea how that's going to go, but mm -hmm. that's two big circle ultimates for initiation. Definitely, yeah. And I like that. Amu's and Cab picked up to finalize before the second round of uh, I bands. personally love AMC in the meta right now. They just buffed the crap out of him. Mm -hmm. uh, now his, his ult... Um, does a bunch of other stuff i know if he picks <laughs> it, it up slows it, it gives him yeah it's it slows you now so yeah. tanks can't just eat it like it's nothing fafnir ban okay that's interesting that uh, is interesting you do have the two uh adcs the magical adc in soul who i don't care yeah. even if you build her straight mage she's still a fantastic uh Definitely, tower yeah. and objective burner yeah. so fafnir ban yeah. makes a lot of sense loki ban just, on the other side yeah it's just her mm -hmm. her passive is so easy to get you mm -hmm. know that it that her her damage is just insane i love the camera ban i i feel like cam has been banned um almost in every game 
Well, Binky's yeah. been, you know, not I mean, been able to get that to get that pick. Not only can do we know that Binky can play it, but at the top level at the SBL, he has been seen a lot lately. Yeah, yeah, he was played all day today mm-hmm. and yesterday. Capri ban. They I mean, really want to get those guardians out of here, huh? Yeah, that that Scarab's blessing is Ooh, such an amazing. Oh, Terra, Terra! I like. If only I we like had one more ban. <laughs> hey, I mean, honestly, well, in the new system, you do, don't you? No, you still no, only get twelve. It's uh, only five. You still only get ten. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, each player, but gets I know in duel band. you get twelve. Yeah, good lord. Yeah, you get six. Uh, you get six bands for you and your opponent. I am not a dual player. <laughs> I do not. I just watch things. Rexy sometimes, mm. and he plays dual. Sexy Rexy. Uh, that was your words, not mine. <laughs> 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 I want that on the tape. <laughs> well, I mean, it's recording and you're streaming, so it's on. So tape. we have eighty C arguably and Jungle to be picked up yeah. by U of L. And Jungle to be picked up by Northern Kentucky. Yep. A lot of deliberations going on with these two picks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're definitely trying to counterpick here. They're they're trying to counterpick, and they're trying to even out their team to make sure that they have the best chance possible to uh, to get in a win. You know what I would like to see from Binky? Either, what would you like to see? If one of two things, either a Thanatos or an Erling Shen. Just dive this Amuzing Cab as much as possible. I mean, that's what he's probably going to have to do. You can't let AMC get big. Cupid, Cupid and there line. you go. There you go. Hold it. <laughs> that's their comfort picks right there. We've seen um, Binky basically since, what, he started playing Erlong last week, just dominate mm-hmm. with the god. Mm-hmm. You know, he knows when to turtle. He knows when to mink at the right times. Erlong's three. It's disgusting. Okay. Oh, Lock it gosh. in. He's hovering it. We don't know. <laughs> Wait, this is... Is that a Mulan jungle then? Oh my gosh, it is... It, it, wait! Oh! Is it Apwash solo? I I would have to say so. I mean, that's the only other one I could see putting in the... Uh, I think... I, I mean, I I've shown imagine you. Apwash I love Mulan jungle. jungle. I've shown you. I've loved oh, Mulan yes. Jungle. Mulan you can jungle frag your brains out. And it's easy to gank. You have your three to cc you have your ult to cc twice mm-hmm. you know you do the knock up and then you slow them with the second part of mulan's ult i think it's a fantastic pickup especially in the jungle uh you know warrior versus warrior mm-hmm. i think i think that couldn't have been better predicted but i don't know how the aposh is going to do in solo versus this geb though because i mean it is geb solo right or are we thinking yeah. sylvanas no it could I'm be either geb. yeah i'm thinking I mean, geb too it, yeah you could put mannequins on sylvanas and we yep. have seen that before i yep. don't like Sylvanas and Solo. No, late game, late game, even and halfway through mid, he falls off very quick. Yeah. I mean, you want your Sylvanas to be tanky, hitting those roots, yep. pulls. Yep. Um, 100% and just, agree. You know, staying in the back line healing. So I would much prefer Geb to be in Solo and go to Super and see what he can do with it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I mean, it is on Super right now. So that is a Geb Solo. Oh, I don't even know why. Yeah, they already traded. So yeah, it is Geb Solo. And it's uh, Sylvanas support. All right, we're just waiting for the game to start. You know, you have that little bit of delay. Yep. And then we're going to get into game one, best of three. For the AVGL, round robin, round two. Yeah, and I'm excited. From... No, I thought this was play BS. I, uh, I thought round robin was uh, AVGL, right? Hang on. I'll I thought they lost uh, Play VS to Illinois Orange. Oh, Play VS was yesterday. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. AGL is the one that they got knocked out of. But it is AVGL round. Yeah, it's AVGL. Okay. I was making sure. I was making sure. I figured I was right, but uh, I'm glad you made sure so I didn't sound like a fool if I was wrong. <laughs> hey, you know. I had something in my brain, you had something else, and... Exactly. Potion you were right! I don't know... I think the last time I've seen an Apwash solo was when Fine OK tried to do it. And he had to make two parts of the video, because the first <laughs> one, he got, he got camped so hard that uh, it mean, was not a good time for him. Yeah, I mean, this does provide a, a, um, a conundrum for Binky, really, because... You could either 
focus out the Sanmus and Cub and camp him. Or mm-hmm. you could camp off Wash. Yeah, definitely. You know, I'm not sure which one he's going to choose. I guess we'll see. Um, me personally, I would probably just camp this AMC because you have Cupid to burn beads. If he ults on cooldown, burns the beads, and says, hey, uh, Binky, come over here and kill this man. And all Binky has to do is say, okay, and comes over and kills him. Mm-hmm. But just based off the drafts, who do you think you give the drafting phase to in this game? Um, I'm going to have to go with U of O. Like, I like... Well, I'll put it this way. For, for solo, carry, jungle, and support, I'll give it to U of O. Okay. Because I like the soul on NKU, but I don't like the opwash. I mean, the A, and then of course, I'm going to like the Cupid a little bit more than the MC. So it was a pretty big toss up there, pretty close. And then basically, Erlong is just a little bit better than Mulan, in my opinion, in the jungle. And then, I mean, Maybe. Cupid and Sylvanas are basically 50 50. Yeah. I give I would give it to U of L just for the team mm-hmm. fighting. As long as they can get out of the early game and get this Geb pretty big and get into a team fighting phase. Oh, I think the Geb can get pretty big just alone from facing the. Uh, uh, the AMC. Unless this AMC is just God mode, then I I honestly don't know. Yeah, I I mean, you have the built-in passive from Geb, which negates crit, which could help against this AMC if he chooses to build crit. And we have seen the devos into attack speed and crit coming back. So really me. depends on how this is decided to be played by the AMC. Definitely. And I'm it's sorry. not going to be a Transformers Geb, so sad face. I'm sad. Wait. According to them yesterday, Terra is comp banned. Because they had to remake um, a game yesterday. Is, you think that's why we're not in the game yet? I don't know. Normally, they would have come in and put somewhere saying, hey, we're remaking. So, I, I'm i not sure. Uh, just remembering that from yesterday. So, we might be getting a remake. Uh, there's a, a bug with her um, the wall clap and her dash. Where, basically, she gets um, two... Two of the dash damage in uh Oh no, we're in game. Meant to happen. Yeah, we're in game, so we shall see. I will pause the music. All right. Assisted cam. We'll go to items. Player damage. All right, everybody is loaded in. Go ahead and move peeps around. And it is a Sobek instead of a Terra, so there was a change somewhere. How could how did they do it though? I have no idea. To be honest, I'm just seeing. I thought they Sobek locked in on Storm. Yeah, now I see it. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh, there's the Gabe spam laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I hear immediately. All right. And it is a Boomba's pickup on Mulan, so this is a Mulan jump. I love it. I'm excited. I am as well. And the Sobek is going for Benevolence. I think Benevolence is fine, honestly. Yes, I think it has its place. You just have to understand how to play with it instead of uh, Sentinel's Gift. 100%. uh, Mannequins picked up from Erling. That's something that we're used to. Warrior's Axe picked up on both the solo laners. Looks like Opwash might be going into a Warlock staff first. 
which is an interesting pickup to me. I could see it in the solo lane, for being honest. Yeah, I mean, it's just the Geb ult still does percentage health, so um, he's going to be getting chunked by that if he builds health. Yeah. And it looks like the, there's a pause because yep. Synth is DC. I feel like he DCs a lot. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> like, unfortunately. Like, you hate to DC, but... Yeah, I mean, sometimes... You know, it it obviously know. happens, yeah. Another interesting tidbit, uh, Sylvanas actually left 50 gold in his coffers. He didn't pick up that last potion. He only has three potions and a hog, whereas Sobek has four. We are seeing a transcendence um, over... Um, really? That's interesting. Yeah, instead of... Uh, oh, I'm assuming... AMC's yeah, you're assuming a transcendence start because I don't... I couldn't imagine starting dominance... No. Um, the only other item in that tree is Heartseeker, and that really doesn't work all that well on AMC. And, I mean, you're just going to get obliterated. Mm -hmm. But a Versus, normal, say, a Crusher. Yeah, a normal Death Toll into uh, most likely a Crusher for a Cupid. Um, book Start for Aphrodite, which is insanely intelligent. I love it. Um, Soul actually going with mannequins into what would probably be a divine, if I were to have to guess right now. You know what, Kevin? Hmm. I'm so glad that we get a cast together. Me too, buddy. <laughs> I enjoy it. It's awesome. I do too. It's freaking awesome. We're glad everyone's here with us. Absolutely. So while we have time, just say hello to chat. Welcome back. Another I don't think amazing anything. Uh, who are you talking to? I'm talking. Can you guys not hear Kevin? Oh, no. I am alive. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. And the game has been resumed. Audio. Hang on. Let me fix yeah, this. Yeah, you good. Take your time. Um, let me know if you guys can hear Kevin. I want this to hear be... He said, "Who are you talking to?" I'm like, "Well, that's a good that's a good question." This guy. That's a, that's a real good question. It is Kevin, but apparently, audio output. Okay, Discord. Okay, Kevin, can you talk, please? Yes, I can talk. Okay, keep are talking. The meters lighting up. Can you check? Um, I honestly can't see on my screen. Uh, can you check? Um. Um, on on Twitch, real quick. Yeah, yeah. Hang on. Just to make sure. Yeah. If anybody is alive in chat, can you tell me if uh, you can hear Kevin? I have tried to alleviate the issue, as I did not. Uh, you know, things happen. So I did not know. Uh, early, you said we, we can't hear you? Early game coming on the duo lane side. Good play from Sobek. Cupid gets a hard oh, uh, one. Mulan's off. right behind them, and, and Cupid does not see. The kill. But... Cupid, I mean, yeah, we almost had to kill uh, Dual Lane because Mulan came behind this Cupid, but he was able to just dash away. Oops, yeah. I could hear Kevin, not you. What? Okay, so can you can you hear me now? That's odd, to say the least. Let's see, turn this down a bit. Yeah, see if you can hear me and you. This is very strange. Okay. Can you hear me, Kevin? Echo. Echo, echo, echo. Echo? Yeah, I don't... Hang on. Let me try to fix this. Sorry, everyone. No, I, I have can't no... hear you on your stream. That's odd. Very odd only hearing you. Okay. I'm going to try to fix this live. Do the things. Doing it live, chat. Hello, hello. Okay. I can hear myself. Okay, there we go. Okay. 
I fixed it. And Sylvanas gets a kill on Sobek. Sorry, everyone. Okay, first blood for and them. second blood going to the support for you. Okay, well. we should we should finally be able to hear everyone. <laughs> it only took forever. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Renegade, for keeping me updated and letting me know that you can only hear Kevin. Dash in from Cupid, but misses the heart bomb. Good brute pull from the Sylvanas as well. Oh, uh, unfortunately, he's not able to get that secure that kill. Yeah. Yeah, his heart bomb was still on cooldown, so. Uh, but they do get the scorpion steal. Kovac actually went to red to help his soul clear. It's quite interesting. Geb actually getting pressured by this op wash is the op best thing in my night. Level five. Oh. Look at that clear from Mob Wash. That's gross. I'm not actually surprised. I'm not either. God, I'll plosh, man. Ugh. Uh, thank you for following Gaming Express 18. Thanks for watching. If you're just tuning in, this is round one. Or game one of round two, round robin. Here we go. UofL versus NKU. Uh, this Gab's got to be a little careful. Oh, Posh looks like he sh Oh, this Gab's got a shell. Uh, and he's able to get out just in time. Yeah, good gank by Binky there. That was perfect. Fantastic. That's yeah, very, very see. well played by the Geb, yeah. Pressure very well alleviated. played by the Geb. Now, you got to think this Aphrodite's going Book of Thoth, Book of the Dead, right? Because that's Absolutely. all I've been seeing in every SPL game <laughs> ever. It's and such everyone's a strong com build. complaining about it on Twitch. Well, yeah, because it's disgusting. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely gross. And I mean, it especially works well on more defensive mid laners, more utility based like Aphrodite and Hell. So, um, yeah, I think once Aphrodite gets that Book of Thoth and maybe even that Book of Dead online, it's going to be near nigh impossible for the Soul to Killer. Absolutely. Ooh, nice. uh, Brayden able to secure that Scorpion, even though it, it was a 2v1 in the dual lane. Just hadn't been body blocked correctly by the Sovek, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the Gold Fury steals and stuff that you've seen so many times. You just got to put your body in front of it to stop autos or Fafnir hammers and stuff like that. Definitely. Aphrodite's going to back now. Mulan helping Soul with their red buff, and we're just going to keep farming. It is an early 3 0 lead for U of L. You know, going to the jungler and two for the support. You'd, you'd wish you'd see that on Cupid, but, uh, you know, it's dual lane. We'll take those kills anywhere we can get them. Right. Two assists being on a Cupid is definitely not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, not the in, end of the world, but like you said, uh, best case scenario, it goes over to, uh, to the Cupid. Yeah, so the thing I'm seeing in, uh, oh, it's a posh has got to be careful. Erlong's right here. Geb's rotating Erfil. There's the t turtle. Knock him up. Geb dash. Up has is. to hold. You know, you knew this was going to happen. We called uh, it from picks and bans. I this mean, he's not he's going to get no. No, no, no. I'm talking about this Erlong. He's doing exactly oh, yeah. what he should be doing. He's yeah. doing Erlong things. He's camping. Now, he's got to be. He's, oh, Mulan missing the three. Ooh, you got to land those. And... Desire to toll grabs a third kill. Three zero. And okay, zero Sylvanas carry. Support. Am I right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I love Sylvanas for this. Show me what you got. I forgot to turn off my face cam. <laughs> for you. It says it's... Okay, no. Face cam's off. I'm insane. Sorry about that. I'm I'm just literally insane. So as I was saying, the thing I see wrong in the solo is Geb does out damage the quash, but oh Cupid, oh Cupid heart bomb. Does he have passive? He does not. No, no kill secure. Unfortunately. Um, as I was saying, Al Quash is clearing the way faster, but Geb is out damaging the Al Quash in lane. Right. So it's like he could box him, but then he'd have to fight in minions and risk giving up that kill. So it's not worth it. 
U of L starting Greater Scorpion on the Gold Fury, and it goes down with it a cinch. Now this, oh, uh, IMC's got to be careful. There's the uh, partial IMC. Oh, oh, double kill, double kill. Yeah, they, one for one. We'll take it. Not by the autos. It was the dot from the ultimate that killed the the cube. Yeah, bit, AMC so. ult is very annoying when you're that low. <laughs> you want to survive, but it usually never pans out for you. Yeah. Erling now Shen see ult down, trying to kill yeah. the Sobek as well. Ooh, Sobek looks like he is lagging a little bit. I saw him kind of dash just a little bit. Gold Fury has spawned. Yeah, we see Soul going over. Mulan's on the purple. Mulan does secure the purple. For the cube, for the AMC on NKU. Yeah, we start, do we do start seeing groups, even though Arlong is backing, and then, of course, our soul laners are just beating uh, each other with wet noodles at the at the moment. <laughs> Unless a jungler decides, oh, Mulan. Oh, so you got to land those. Mulan oh, unfortunately missed the three, and Sobek missed the pluck, so Aphrodite doesn't even have to ult there. And it's not a Warlock staff start, but an Ethereal staff from this op wash, which I like infinitely better. That is that is big cojone mode right there. I like that a lot. <laughs> Steals uh, oh. health and mana. And unfortunately, the Afro does get so plucked. Bad. She's got to be careful. Mulan going in. There's the Sil Vault. There's the Sobek ult. And so oh, not really getting anybody but the Sylvanas. And then, oh, he's got the pool, but the pool's going to oh, kill him. Oh, super numbers yep. get to kill with the help of Binky. No return. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately that pool on the soul is going to get him killed because no. she's just going to keep auto attacking his face. Absolutely. And the disapparate but, proccing when it did save her life. I mean, I like, you know, make him the soul in or hate his life. But we've seen time and time again. Yeah. That unless you're playing a hyper carry soul laner like Achilles, Bologna, Kukolin, any of them, it's very hard for that lead to transfer over into the team fights after they've basically annihilated their lane with the help of the jungler. Right. And my only uh, kind of caveat to that right now and what's happening is this will allow the Geb to rotate and make a difference in team fights much sooner than before and gold fury has well, as long started. as he does and it looks like he is in fact rotating immediately to gold Absolutely. yeah gold's going to get started the only one on the left is the amc and the sobek but they do know mulan's they have a in fountain right yeah mulan's in fountain quash is in solo soul's finally rotating over and they're gonna have to get off of it but uh Baiting okay fight. they're back yep geb is in fact zoning correctly uh, i think i don't know if yeah, Afro's on the Sylvanas. They should be fine to get this. No, they gotta be careful. Once they get this, they gotta go though, or so or Sylvanas is gonna die. There's the soul. Sylvanas is going to go down to the Sylvanas. There's the Geb Shell move on on the Sylvanas. Not gonna be enough. She's gotta be careful. She's two v three, and it's successful because Ooh. Mulan damage. Oh, but she's taking a lot of damage from this Geb, and she's gonna go down to the Afro. Takes a kill. Binky yeah. takes a kill. And that's basically all an idea side, except the soul laner who never joined the fight and the soul who has to back away. So NKU takes the gold fury out from underneath the U of L, but loses lives in the, in the process. Still comes out, you know, ahead in gold, just a little from where they were. Uh, but oh, it definitely. Is a you know, they're down 10 too. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, 2.3K gold lead. Uh, for U of L and almost 5k experience. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, albeit they did lose some people, like you said, during Gold Fury, but they got it. So they're in a better position than they were before, which is all that matters. Absolutely. And if we look at damage, I mean, you're seeing Soul Laner, Jungler, Carry on U of L at, on the, in the top three. Which is unfortunate because, uh, you know, I mean, it's not by a whole lot except for there's a huge solo diff at the moment. So our posh mm -hmm. is going to have to, you know, do something to make sure that this game just stays under control or else, you know, snowball meta. Yeah, I think that's, It'll be that's over our, you know that it. song has already been sung, though. I mean, he's level 12. That's, uh, I mean, he already has. I mean, posh is only level 11. It's just the player damage. Right. It's just showing that, like, it's not like our posh yeah, is getting behind because he farmed. And confirmed. Yeah, he's, he's just going to get focused this whole time because they're trying to keep him under pressure.
It sucks because he doesn't even have Genji. Okay, he just got Genji's after dying. Now, Trying. Binky does have to be careful here. Binky's got to be extremely careful. His ult has There's his dash. Yep. There's the Mulan dash. She does get the proc on the Geb, so she does get it off, but uh, it's not going to be enough. And Binky should be able to get out of here. Yeah, but now Geb's low. Uh, he, he could roll out. Oh, roll out OP, man. Mm hmm. I mean, they're trying to. I mean, they're whittling down the Sylvanas, but it's not insane. Binky is staying around, though, just in case, but. They're able to get the cure and get out, get the kill and get out. Make sure Binky doesn't uh, overstay as well. I'm surprised to see Brayden so far back, Synth. Uh, you think he was trying to get his internet under control or something there? I honestly don't know. Yeah, um, we saw the wave being pushed up, but him staying under tower from just a minute. Maybe, you know, he was just calling out to his teammates or maybe, you know, internet problems. Because he did DC in the beginning. We have to keep that in mind. He could be, yep. he could be lagging. We don't know. Very quick serrated edge from Binky. I'm not surprised. I mean, serrated edge is one of those items you figure to be like, uh, maybe fifth item? Oh yeah, definitely. It's usually, um, I mean, besides starter, it's usually the fourth or fifth um, item in, in the jungle's repertoire if they mm -hmm. choose serrated, but uh, I'm thinking he just sees that he's taking a lot of damage and he's just trying to keep that under control, trying to get a little healing in there. And it's good for pin. It has a lot of pin with it, too. So maybe he's just trying to shred, uh, shred uh, the enemy frontliners just a little bit more. Possibility. Maybe maybe this uh, um, Sobek is proving uh, to be a little bit too much. But I think it's fine. You know, you got a two-level lead in support. Two-level lead jungle, one-level lead mid, two-level lead... ADC. And red buff stolen and given to Sylvanas. Yep, Didn't Cupid look like looking. It was right on purpose. Oh, Cupid does, in fact. There's Cupid on cooldown. You're going to burn those AMC beads. And look. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> where are you going, AMC? There My whole team's go. here. You're going to go down. <laughs> yeah. That, that Cupid, uh, Braden played that perfectly synth. You know, you're going to burn the beads. He, he said, I'm safe. I'm in her tower. No. Nope. Right. My whole team's here. And it's just setting up the pressure for the gold fury to respawn in probably yep. about 30 to 45 seconds. And that's tower. So, yep. Down goes T1 tower and dual lane side. Mid lane tower on for U of L does go down. Yeah, they are diving the soul. She does soul. have to be a little careful. There is the Erlong ult. There's the beads. She's still gonna take. Now Aegis. she has the Aegis, and she's and down she's again. Yep. See, this is what this is what Erlong mid and early game gets to do for free. Mulan trying to do something. Beautiful back. Mulan ult. Gets the knock up on some people. Gets the second, but uh, there's going to be Sylvanas root, and she's just not going to be able to put out put enough damage to... Uh, Interestingly enough, it wasn't a divine pickup, but a spear the Magus into a Typhons for the soul. And Ooh. super surrounded in mid lane while owning... Oh, they're running, but they're going to burn this so fast. Oh, yeah, it's, out. it's just melting. Yeah. Mulan blinks past the early she shit just get and it. dies immediately. But she dies immediately. Yeah, there's a... Was that a curse stomp? That was a curse stomp. Oh, they're smart. So late game, this is going to be... They, that means, in my head, UofL has to end this game before late game. Late game, oh, cursed onk. Erlong cannot dive. Ooh. But it looks like they're going to get that oh. underway with Sobek going... Basically going oh. down oh, with the so Sylvanas pull. <laughs> Almost a clear enough side, except Oof. Sol got back up. So After she just got killed. Four for one for I mean, U of yeah, L they're, and yeah, they're a, playing a Gold Fury on top of it. Yeah, they're they're playing on their game here. Absolutely. Red invade by her log. I mean as long How as they not, don't right? <laughs> yeah, as long as they don't make them go to late game, Erlong's fine. Late game Erlong against Cursed Onk and Anti Hill, which they already have Pestilence and Brawlers. It's it's very rough because you know, that's how he's been playing and that's how Erlong plays. You blink all at the back line, you annihilate them, melt them, two for one. If you die, it's two for one. Mm -hmm. You know, if you can secure the uh, ADC in the mid and the back, uh, that's perfectly fine. But if you dive, get CC'd, and they have Anti Hill and a Cursed Onk, you're dead right. in a matter of seconds because you get no healing from your ult. And you just get annihilated. And I mean, so. it's also just the the sheer amount of of healing on the side of Louisville that really, like, you have to have these anti heal items. And it looks like Soul will be. She picked up the magic focus, so it looks like it will be a 
divine call third item yeah there is a pyro call by binky with the game that should go down pretty quick oh yeah he's no, shredding uh, this. yeah there's no um nku wards on the map for uh he fire giant but kids. they oh yeah yeah he got that after serrated he's he's building just nutty oh yeah and he's a, gonna annihilate this afro build completely disgusting book of the thoth already stacked breastplate of valor to fight against this mulan and then a book of the dead into probably a chronos gross yeah you're not gonna kill her anytime soon just disgusting and i mean that and it's like i think that build has like 100 mp5 oh gab's gotta be nutty. careful here his I mean, teammates are trying to come to him but okay yeah out. those roll out he's fine <laughs> roll out op i mean it is unless you can cc him before he gets away or you know jump in front of it or something nutty like that Oh, there's the Gab Blink ult. There's the pull, but it pulled the support. Unfortunately, yeah, Gab yeah, Binky. Taking so much damage. Yeah, Binky able to get that Mulan in the back. Gab's got to be careful against AMC. He is shredding Gab. There's, and Binky able to get the op wash. There is the Gab shell. Aphrodite is annihilating. Oh, she just won v one. Look, look at her health. Oh, look at her health. yeah. This game's over. This game's Ouch. Over. Ladies that and gentlemen, I present to you UL. <laughs> this is a DSI. I on present the side to you, UofL. Fire being started by Braden here, and this should melt pretty quickly. And then, oh, yeah, I mean, from there, the sustain, you just. Yeah, absolutely. from there, you just. I would just start sieging uh, towers into Phoenix. I really want to see a Rod of Asclepius on somebody. This they don't game. need it. But could you imagine? Like, because Rod of Asclepius doesn't only help your healing, it helps everybody's healing in an aura yeah. around you. So, that would just be amazing. Well, I thought that was Cad Shield, right? No. I thought Cad Shield made everyone's healing better. I don't think so. I'd have to look at him again. I'm pretty sure that Route of Asleep was just boost all healing. And you already hmm. have a Lotus Crown on the side of Sylvanas. Oh, yeah. To give those it's extra prods. Happen. Yeah, Absolutely. it's going to happen. Uh, Mulan looking at Gab, but, I mean, he has fire. So, look at that. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, uh, even trade. But you're yeah. trading with a soul laner. <laughs> but I mean, if you if you look at it though, there is the, the amount on of the health wash. bars that this Gev has is absolutely nutty. Yeah, he has a lot of health. There's the Quash damage, but the Gev ship's gonna get him out. Not able to get the two in the tower. Will go down to the combination of Sylvanas, Afro, and Cupid. Now here comes the Phoenix Siege. Soul is farming, unfortunately. Phoenix so Siege. So she she gross. should. Well, it's just snowball. Oh, they're what? They're backing up. Why? Not sure. I mean, gold. Okay, so will that obviously was soon. a call. Yeah. I mean, it is primal. It, it back into uh, you know primal and then siege left side because left side is infinitely better than sieging right. But you see where NKU is going. Yeah, there is a six level lead in 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 carry right now. Ouch! Holy crap! If this was a casual game, this would have got six F6 yeah. 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Very early. Just like, ah, we're oh, losing, man. guys. Oh, NKU does start the game. Oh, they started. Oh, crap. Look at it. It's getting melted. Oh, oh they yeah. can get this. They're so big. Oh, oh can they? And they got they it. Now got they got to run. But they're going to so die. Back. Does keep it up. It doesn't even matter. He if does he has have passive. passive. And he just. It doesn't even matter if he had passive. That so bet got annihilated. Oh, but oh, the, is the gonna passive go down. helped out so much because it's oh, stunned I didn't see it go three off. people. And Binky just Erling diving Shin. the MC saying, yeah. I don't care. And I mean, that's his, that's Erling Shin's that's ult as well. But yeah. yeah, it's two people up against a fire giant. I mean, so back's up in 10, but he doesn't have ult. Right. And they're not burning this very fast, but they're going to try. They're going to try to end right here. Oh yeah, I mean you've got uh, only five only uh, only yeah Afro and oh. Sylvanas. Okay. Where did she go? Oh, okay. <laughs> Where did she oh, go? Okay. And so oh, back. So back. Uh, getting annihilated and bye bye oh, Titan. Oh my gosh. Oh my Dear gosh. gosh. <laughs> okay. You Bell playing lights out. Okay, I think Binky found his new main jungler. <laughs> Eleven zero and nine for the jungler. You gotta, that you gotta see an Erlong ban, right? <laughs> I would, yeah. I mean, Erlong, uh, probably a Gev. Like, oh my, that's just gross. 
All right, let's go ahead and cue to spectate real quick. Gonna go ahead and switch over to yeah. That was just for that the was team. G yeah Nexus. That was uh, that and was I mean, disgusting. Honestly, with that flow of game, this is probably the lowest ward count that I have seen from U of L. I didn't even see it. What was it? it? I mean, the highest oh, yeah. is desired with ten. Which, I mean, at least, you know, from the team that I casted last with you to this one, I mean, at least this team is warding consistently. It's oh, just, absolutely. I think your first mistake was the par solo. Absolutely. I mean, it it's just not, got punished. It's Z unfortunately just not a thing. It's zero, a niche seven, pick. Zero, seven, zero. Only put out 7.7k damage. Yeah, it's a niche pick, and half the time during those niche picks, it does not work. I wish it does, because the god's stupidly fun. It, you know. it only works if, you know, you can basically pub stomp out, out of it. Like if you But can, that Geb, that Geb solo uh, pick, like maybe if he was against a warrior, it could have been a little bit better or just not an, you know, OP god in general as Geb is right now in the current right. meta. Maybe then he could have had a better chance. But when Beaky started, you know, focusing him, no. Yeah, and that it just, was it just that's went the thing is downhill. it's the it's the jungle difference uh, in that lane. You had Binky who was focusing the swash, and Mulan couldn't do anything to get. No, well, she it, couldn't do basically anything on the map. She tried. Oh, but, absolutely. To assist. But Leo Val was just basically playing so well against her. You know, mm -hmm. making sure that they're far enough away from her ult that they're not going to get picked off by it. They dodged. I I didn't see her land many threes during that game either. So maybe. Maybe this person is a little bit rusty on Mulan, you know? Because I mean, those threes are instant. You gotta, you know, predict where they're gonna strafe it. It's it's very hard to land it unless you know you're going to predict where the opponent is moving. So yeah, I mean that, that's the definition of a, a skill shot ability, and definitely um, yeah. that's that's the issue with some some gods, you know, because they require you to hit your small, you know, line abilities. You think of Fafnir hammers. Um, you know, the one that I always go back to is Giannis too, because for some reason, even though it's not a, a single line, it can be difficult to hit in the heat of the moment, especially since I think that they actually buffed it to where, um, it was harder to stand in the middle and get the orbs to go around you, but, uh, it's still a thing. <laughs> All right. Picks and bands. For game number two. Yeah, I'm thinking um, since UNKU gets first ban, it's uh, <clears throat> it's going to be a, <laughs> a uh, um, Erlong. I mean, yes, I would assume so. No, Afro. Afro. Wow. Okay. Hitting the sustain in the comp. I mean, Rice Master did play Afro amazingly well. But you got to imagine, you know, yesterday we saw Rice Master actually play Tiamat and did amazingly well at it. Uh, and a Cupid ban. Look at this. I mean, I'm not surprised. He played uh, Cupid very well. He always plays Cupid very well. It's kind of gross. But, uh, you know, it, with these bands, you have to imagine, it'd be like, okay, what is left open for U of L to take? Like, all these big. I mean, all the meta, meta picks gods. are. Yeah. yeah. All the meta gods are. I mean, if we're going to ban picks like Afro and Cupid. Yeah. I mean, Sukiyomi gets through, which he's not banned too much anymore, but Tsukiyomi Set gets wasn't through, even looked at Morgan Le Fay gets through, Tiamat mm -hmm. gets through, you know. Yep. And I mean, RDO. I still don't see an RDO ban. Two, so. two bans left. You haven't seen a Hell ban yet, so there's the gab. They're going to ban their gab, and it, now it's look. It's all what, like, yeah. we don't want you to do what you did to us last time, but we're leaving everything open, you know? Yeah, but yeah, so... Yeah, they're they're gonna be like, okay, we don't want you to do what you're doing, but with this Geb ban, their pool, their first pick pool is insane. Oh, absolutely. Especially depending on who U of L bans here, but you know they're discussing it because there's so much stuff open. Oh right yeah, now. that I mean, is you, that is disgusting. You've got, you you still got you know your your Moja, you still got um got Tsukiyomi like you were saying, you've got Tiamat, Morgan Le Fay. 
uh, good lord, just so much that that can be picked between these two teams still. Um, Hell is still open, um, and there's a Chang'a ah ban. That's interesting. I would have banned out the Hell, personally, but... So, I mean, we have our six bands, and there's a hell immediately. Yeah, which, they're, they're, they're going to pick it. Hell is nutty right now. Yeah, hell, hell is pretty nutty with that build that you were talking about. Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, server is so Oh, honest. but the Cerberus pick is really nice. That yeah. adds that hill. And Sylvanas did very well in the support. Uh, oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, and it's, you know, either you pick the Sylvanas to match them at sustain or you pick a Umoja, which we all know um, I prefer Sylvanas over Umoja, um, and I know that's probably blasphemy, but um, I like seeing Desired on the Sylvanas pick. Kamazot's lock, which, you know, we, we mentioned last game how well Kamazot's is doing. He's been played in the top tiers. He's been played in this tier a lot. And Hades? A Hades okay. lock. Um, That's you thinking Hades, Hades solo? solo? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, his time and support has come and gone. So uh, he really doesn't bring all that much to support. What an ampouage! Okay. What is happening? <laughs> okay, Rice. This. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. So oh, with okay. the Cerberus already picked, the Sylvanas already picked. <laughs> you're like, okay, there, because there, there's no real other place for the Cerberus to go oh, besides gosh. Solo. So yes, you're assuming that this is going to be an ampouage mid. Oh man. Uh, they're like, they're like <laughs> JC. We heard what you said about Pwash, and we're gonna show you. Oh, yep, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna show life. you how to how to play Pwash. And I mean, I like Al Pwash mid better than I like him in solo. Charybdis ban. Okay, and there is the Erlong ban. Yeah, another another Erlong uh, respect ban and a Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh. That's interesting. I mean, he, I, mean, I mean, he's still really, really, really good in the meta right now. He is. Especially in jungle, and I think that's what they were trying to. Well, you know, I'll, I'll put it not this let way: him have. he can do, he can. He's not one of those guys that you sit there like Erlang and sitting there going, "Okay, he ha Erlang has a clear place in the meta in the jungle in a Robin pick." Being like, "Okay, yeah, really good." I Erlang. think both teams are trying to make it make him happen. I mean, I hope they do. Like I said. The god's extremely fun. It's just oh, trying to make him fun. fit in a competitive sense is very hard. Yeah. And I like the I like the Ravana pick. He's he's really, really good in the meta. You know, he's arguably one of the uh best, uh, if not like maybe top two, top three ability based junglers at the moment. I, I will argue with you on that. I'm not a huge fan of Robin. Um the way he sits currently. But we will save that for another day. A Hercules. Well, we will see based on Binky's performance. Absolutely. He's right. <laughs> and probably one of oh, the wow. worst assassins to be picked yeah. right now in the Nazca. Just because they, they really need to uh, rework Nija. Oh, absolutely. Just because, you know, the, the crit's fine, but the ult is basically crap. Even at like level five, it's fine. It's good for CC. Yeah. But it doesn't do enough. And then, you know, Sash is good. But it puts but... you in a position. And yeah. you really don't yeah. have a way, you know, at least Mulan, once she gets her, her training exercise passive stacked and everything, And you can cancel it. Can... You can cancel her ult. Really? Yeah, you can go through the dash and then cancel the other two parts. Huh. Rama pick. I like the Rama pick. Rama's really good. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Herc into Pua. No, Herc into Cerberus. This is going to be a fun wet noodle contest if I've ever seen one. <laughs> absolutely. And, of course, Posh is going to go to Rice Master, and Cerberus is going to go to Super Numbers. We've seen Super Numbers frag on Cerberus before, so I'm extremely excited. Also, I, mean, I just saw the stupid name, Dr. Thanatos. <laughs> yep. Why aren't you playing Thanatos, bro? That's all I'm saying. Oh, we got a Tier 5 skin going off in this game. 
Nice. I guess you got to flex, you know, even, even if allowed? it's competitive. <laughs> um, I know, I don't think it is in, com like, SPL, but, I mean, they're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. I don't know if it's banned in SPL, though. I know most tier fives are. Yeah. Because it kind of gives you an advantage because all the sounds and stuff is, are different. Yep. But, um, interesting draft from both teams, really. I think, me personally, I would have to give it to U of L again just because of the the wet noodle that we call Naja. Um, what do you think? What are you saying? Sorry. <laughs> what do you think about the draft? Who do you give it to? Um, I'll be, I'm, I'm going to go, with, uh, even though they picked Quash, I, as long as it works, I'm going to give it to them. Well, I wonder how many anti-heal items we see this game in from both teams. True. You know, Hades, Kama, Hell, uh, Quash, uh, Sylvanas. Anti-heal is like the name of the game right now because healers are yeah, in they, meta. They really need to uh, rework healing and how the healers work. Cause I mean, you say they're... that, but every time, because... I've played this game for quite a, a few years, and every time they try to rework healing, it's almost, it's either healers are busted or healing is absolute poo-poo. There is no middle ground. Yeah, and look, there's still no middle ground when you get 30% uh, anti-heal outside of combat right. with Season 8. Like, the fact that they have to do that is ridiculous. Yeah. To keep healing in check. And that you just... get anti-healed from not being in combat. <laughs> right. And then you get into combat and it's like, oop, there's a divine. Oop, there's a brawlers. Oop, yeah. there's a pestilence. Oop, contagion. I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just... Oop, uh... there's my life. <laughs> but, I mean, it, it's also the thing of, you know, it was being abused so much because you would go in, you would poke, you would I mean, initiate, still and then you would back up and sustain you know yeah. to full after like a, a or you rotation. would go do a camp yeah you would just go do a camp yeah which i mean that's still a thing that is so, yeah because 30 percent is still not enough but i mean like where do you go from that it's <laughs> just be like no, i don't you can't honestly i don't and... i don't envy the smite balance team in oh, the slightest because it seems like everything they do is a mistake I wouldn't... like right now they're getting crapped on for the book right. of the dead change I'm thinking we see eight anti-heal items. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> well, if we see a divine from both mid laners, mm -hmm. maybe a brawlers from Ravana. That's three. Yeah, because Rama's um, most likely not going to be building. He could build the shuriken. It's a lot. I don't know. You can yeah, see the shuriken's it. usually not in meta, though, because well, it's probably... just not that great. I know, but if, I mean, Rama, he works well with crit. So you would assume... Sadly, everyone does right now. <laughs> Crit? Um, yeah, we'll take an order of that. Okay, everyone has, in fact, loaded into the game. Wait. There's a Naja and a Kamazots on the same team. Is that a Naja support? Wait, that's a Naja support. No, got Bumbas. It's a Kama support. What? Wait, is it Kama Solo? Kama Solo and Hades support? support? Okay, is Hades doesn't even have a starter. Yeah, Hades. I think Hades. I don't, dude. I don't. Their whole team comp. No, wait. Me. One of them has to be ADC. There's not an ADC on NKU. Okay, I'm confused. I There's no hunter. A is war flag. Kamazots the hunter? I don't know. I can see Kerk. Kerk I can see Kamaz. Yeah, so Herc support. Hades Solo. Kama ADC. I can see that. Whoa, this is weird. Yeah, I'm not gonna <laughs> change anything because I don't know what's happening. I don't know who's in what okay, role. So Camazots so... is at the red. All buff. I know is mid lane. So he Kamazots is ADC. Yeah, is at red he buff, is ADC. So it is a Camazots ADC. Wow. This is weird. So Doctor Thanatos is not the jungler. True renegade. We do already have anti heal one item built with tainted tainted steel. Deal. Yes. It is Haiti solo. Yeah. Oh, that's that's a nightmare. <laughs> but I mean, Serb Serb counters him. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. He got, Especially he got with Tain and Steel. Yeah, and he got his, tainted and he has anti-heal. So. And he has anti-heal in his kit. So Have that's fun just with like that, dude. double dipping right there. This is insane. I think this sneaks out is going to have a rough game. I'm excited to see this game of Sots ADC, man. Oh, they're yeah. trying to get some cheese. There's the Can't Heart Blink. There's the Camo Blink duo. Oh. Rama's half. Oh, he's getting chunked so hard. Yeah, but so is Herc. You have to keep in mind, Herc's almost dead. But so is this one. Okay. 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 Oh, oh, oh he missed oh. the two, unfortunate. That would have been a kill. Holy sustain crap. sustain coming in. This is... Even the sustain for Kama. His two's perfect. Oh, yeah. There's the sash on Niza. Ring, ring bounce gets no one. Missed the minions, unfortunately. That would have done a good amount of damage. Achilles getting so low. So yeah, much action is... here at the first minute in game this number two. Weird. Yeah, th this is odd. Kamazot's ADC, huh? He said, well, if Seth can do it, so can I. Beads are Oh, there's the one from... and the two. Yeah. Ooh, Beads out from Naja as well. Another rotation of abilities. Yeah, hell not getting the heal off. She's trying to hit the Ravana. And these I should go down oh. yeah, to the Bosch. First blood to the boy out Bosch. There's the healing for hell, but she walked right into the oh. dual lane. That was perfect rotation. Amazing. Two kills. And, and Three Sobren kills. Get the kill, yeah. They're just going to try to dive here, aren't they? There's the oh, blink. absolutely. Okay. Why would you okay, not? Guys. Herc had to okay, dash guys. away from the op Bosch one. I watched just took a tower shot to try to get that Herc. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, Interesting start is... to game number one. Four kills. Yeah, four kills in two minutes. You gotta. Before the the heart, like the scorpions have even spawned. Is this arena? Did we queue up the wrong game mode? I don't understand. <laughs> I'm surprised we don't see a purple invade here, to be honest. I mean, I think that they know. Okay, here it goes. Here it goes. Oh, yep. Yeah. Hamazots already sees it. He gets the two off, gets the two, but it will go to Rama. And Cerberus is like, I own this lane. <laughs> uh, I'm your dad, and I will take your blue buff. That was his blue buff. You're right. I have no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Red side is top. You're right, my brain. Oh, oh, this Rama's getting chunked. Hurt misses the. If Hurt would have landed that, Rama's dead. Unless he immediately presses Beach, which I, I, I have faith in Brayden that he would have. Oh, absolutely. Beads come out from Hades from a Cerberus ult as well. Hades says, Why you bully? Oh! But he doesn't get any I'm... healing. No healing is coming in from this Hades after he's been hit by this Cerberus. This is gross. I mean, he has tainted and anti heal, so. You're not, because how much does Tane give? Oh, Reduce nice 15 percent and then the passive. But gets that health that he gained back from his two. Like... Oh, he's gotta be careful. Cerberus could just. I'm waiting for it. Yeah, there's Nija. The Cerberus yeah. does have to be careful. There's the sash. There's and the ult. Immediately up into the ult. I mean, he's as long as he gets his jump, he's fine. Yeah, oh, he's here's like, Ravana. I'm not this is bad. About There's it. the ult. There's the dash. Oh, Your ult does nothing. You're dead. Pillar of agony Unfort. into a straight death. Yeah. Did he not Nizab. have his jump? Nizab's out. He could have just not pressed in time because that was really quick by Binky. Oh, he's got. I know he wants his harpy, but he's got no mana. There's the ward. Ravana says, "I'm coming." You got no mana. There's Ooh, the blink. blink. There's the beads. Yeah, I mean, beads. blink for beads. Yeah. We'll take it. Uh, there's the pull Sylvana on Sylvanas, so the Herc. Oh, yeah, take it, and the Kamazots will get the kill. Yeah, that was a perfect pull by the Herc. They needed that. They needed Absolutely. that so bad. Good play by the dual lane from NKU. Kamazot's going to sustain off of this puddle left behind. Hades does, in fact, get his red buff invaded. His blue buff? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> it's one of them days. <laughs> It's been one of them days. My brain is fried. I've had to write thirty over thirty pages today, so I'm I'm just done. I'm sorry. Uh, Rama is getting the best out of this trade with the camera. So, oh, Rama Ooh, ult goes up one, misses the two Ooh. and the three. Um, yeah, that would have definitely killed. Unfortunate. Here's the rotation from Herc. 
Sam, Cam Cam says I'm staying. His dash if Hades holds Blink, his pull, miss, and he, and he should get in. punished here. Yeah, he should get punished here. Yeah. Oh. It's not gonna be enough. No Come bounce. No bounce. Good route. Yeah. Good. Very important. Yeah, Kama just missed his two, or Rama would be dead. Yeah, you gotta land those if you're gonna. You're gonna I get mean, ballsy. Uh, Cerberus is gonna be careful. A, do you expect? And Hades will go down again. Cerberus barely escaping uh, death. Good double root by Sylvanas, because this Rama is running around for his life. I mean, he has no mana, so essentially, nah. Opwash is here. Ravana, Rama's easily gonna get out here. There's the pull from Silk. Oh, it's gonna be a miss. So close. Oh, good oh, a pull. double pull, but I mean, yeah. Price Easy Master kill secure by the Opwash. And I'm sorry, I'm I don't know we the name of those abilities. Any more anti heal yet? Way too long. <laughs> I've seen a There's good... the dash. Oh, bad. Camazots miss. Only got one hit off of it. There's the auto attacks. Misses and the two misses again. Yeah, he would have died. That's two kills, unfortunately, man. Good pull so by Sylvanas to keep his Rama alive. And this Rob, there's the uh, root miss. There's the one, oh, couple auto so attacks. Much damage. Yeah, this is gonna be very close because so, this axe, you know, axe is insane. But those puddles there, that's what kept that. Yeah. That. Uh, yeah. Camazots alive and a purple invade coming out from the jungler. Opwash has got to be careful here. Oh, he's going straight to his team. He's like, I need yeah. help. Help! <laughs> we do see a greater scorpion. Cerberus doing a little proxy in here. Uh, gotta be careful. There is the sash. Perfect ult. Doesn't get the knees off. Boom! And Cerberus oh. will go down. Good kill. Camazot's going in. Camazot's deep. will also go down to the Rama ult. Yeah, they got this Camba's number. It's like NKU finally shows, you know, lifelines, but then it just gets squashed mm -hmm. immediately. T1 Very tower goes down in mid from NKU. <laughs> Hell getting the posh in mid. But getting rotated on at the same time. Binky yeah, says. I tried to switch to her immediately, but Binky killed her too fast. <laughs> uh, we do see hurt ult to clear wave, but it's not going to matter. It didn't, didn't do anything at all. Man. No, it didn't. It barely even have health. Didn't even kill the back archers. <laughs> And now he has no mana, so now he's got auto attack of death. I'm just smacking these minions in the head. But it's still a closer game than last game, though. Absolutely. Because they're only down 2k at 8. Yeah, gold hasn't been done yet, so this is already a closer game. <laughs> we do see Niza is hovering in the soul lane, but uh, going to get away once that Cerberus goes for his blue buff. Now... Niza is looking, I and mean, he was kind of looking at the posh a little bit because he doesn't have that tier one tower anymore. Mm -hmm. Looks like gold is going to be started by the Rama. There are the pings, so they know. They see Herc, they immediately get off of uh, gold, but, but they want to fight. He's, almost, yeah. he's only level seven. He is only level seven, yeah. I mean, he's only one level down in support, so it's not that terrible. True. But compared to like but you have a level, level 10, 10 Robin over Ooh, here. He, he did get that uh, ability out of Robin. It's a long cooldown as well. Yep. Uh, we see a, almost a 3k gold lead and 3k experience lead for you, Abel. At yeah. the Looks like Ravana is mark. going to invade some back harpies. Might even go for this blue buff. Looks like he's going to go for a gank. There's the ult into an ult. Binky's going to like, I'm going to wait. <laughs> I'll wait till done. Oh, and there's boom. the kill. Yeah, he Perfectly waited. Perfectly played. <laughs> he waited. That was this disgustingly match only gets well played. Worse once the second item anti heals come out. I agree, yeah. Yeah, once yeah, we already see the brawlers from, from Ravana. Once once this team gets more anti heal, it's gonna just get completely out of control. There's the Hercul. You see servers and Robin wrapping around on this hell and hurt. Yeah. Oh. Opwash annihilating this hell. Herc has to be trouble. Uh, careful. Cerberus in the back. Cerberus also has to be careful. He's just going to be able to jump around. Beaky's right there and make sure he's going to be fine. And then Straight they're going to start gold. gold back up. Two so far. Yep. So, Renegade, how many? Yeah, you said eight. We'll see. That's two. Six more. Yeah. Uh, he's not going into a, a, a Deathbringer or a Rage third item. That's interesting. That is interesting. Normally, you don't try to build too much crit on her because it 
I mean, it, it's fine because it works with her kit, but it's just, or his kit, it's just not enough. Oh, there's the bull on the Hercules. He's got to be careful. There's the Rama beads. Niza is going to ult him, but this is the unfortunate part that we talked about. Niza ult. ults in response. Wait, did, ne did Niza die in the air? No, she didn't even get up. Rama ulted oh. as soon as he was sashed. There is almost the DSI. Minus the hell. Not able to make it to that team fight, unfortunately. I mean, I don't even think she tried. She was just like, nope. I mean, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Red buff being looked at by and Hell, but Offwash is rotating around on it. Hell saw, um, yeah, Ooh, she and... does not, in fact, get it, and she oh. almost cost her her life. Yep. There's the immunity to immune the slow. Yeah, so uh, last game, we saw Aphrodite basically go insane with the Book of the Dead build. That's what Hell's trying to do, or uh, not Hell, sorry. Offwash is trying to do now. Yep. Same exact build. But Hell doesn't respect it. She's not going to try it. You think that's a mistake? Yes. I think because it worked, like you said earlier, it works so well. On it really does. Terberus and... just... Hey, this Hades can't, can't even catch a break. Ooh. He's got to be so careful. If Cerberus has ult there, he's dead. He's just like... Nope. And he's yep. just going to auto-attack oh. him now. That was disgusting. Nizai is rotating over. Ravana's like, hey, man, what's up? Now, he is going to take tower shots. He took two. Oh, and he oh. just... Oh, my what gosh. What is that he damage? Yeah, that's Ravana, man. See, in the meta, I'm telling you. You got to respect it. It's dirty. That was a root and a one. Easy. That's so gross. Robin does stick around to take the tower while Server says, hi, is how are you? Saying, hi, hey, Mario. Hercules, come here, bud. Looks like it's probably going to be a pyro pickup. Oh, absolutely. It just spawned too. Perfect mm. timing from U of L. They're kind of hovering on fire, to be honest. Ravana Hell is in killing. Yeah, one v one. What? Hell mid lane. <laughs> and there's the server salt. He says, "Dude, you gotta respect me. I will kill you again." Oh and Hades, my! Why Hades is Hades doing Hades damage. Fighting server is he just? Like, I don't. And oh, look, server says, "Fight me. Is I'll kill this? you again." I just, I don't. I think they're done, man. Because <laughs> there's a fire at 12 minutes. I don't know. I just want to. And there's the gamma blink. I mean, server this says, is, "Go ahead, kill do me. A nod do it." Dot. Kill me. We got fire. I don't care. <laughs> U of L Bro, does pick wanna, up fire. I just want to point out that the scoreboard is 420. <laughs> <laughs> this game's uh, disgusting. Oh my gosh. All right. Pyromancer goes down for U of L, and that will I be mean, an 8K gold lead and a 9K experience lead. U of L is just saying, I don't think no. so. No. Hades is just waiting for gold. Okay. I don't like what Hades is building at all. <laughs> I know. Uh, Bancroft's into a I think Typhon's it's, into... I think it's bad. I think it's very bad. He's going to go Soul Gem, right? Uh, that's what I would assume, because I don't see a Pythax piece being no. utilized all that well. But I don't see a Soul Gem being utilized all I that mean, well. I mean, I don't see a Typhon's Fang or a Bancroft being utilized versus a Cerberus either. Hell does that fall damage. to Wash mid lane. Yeah. Now that's a um, lot of damage. <laughs> Renegade says blaze it. <laughs> oh my god. He knows what's up. 12k All damage right. coming out from the server is 7k there, coming out. There, there's the all. Hercules is will just go down. Holy. Oh. Uh, this is Opwash if he's fed. Oh. These I will go down. This? You guys are being so mean. <laughs> Who's next in line? I guess that's all they're saying. <laughs> Hades is showing up and running away as he should <laughs> straight to his why face. are you running uh, fight me <laughs> Kama and ravana are just like looking at each other oh oh there's the blink there's the root there's the one and the two and he's like oh he might be able to kill him he did get a lot of health from that i think he should have stayed on him Ooh. oh and the alt miss from the ravana he's got to be careful there's the two but there's the blink <laughs> what just in the game just in the game <laughs> kevin are you okay <laughs> Uh. <laughs> you okay, Kevin? Yes, I think. Oh my, this game. Oh, this game's over. This game is so over. I mean, Najah's not even coming to the video. Yeah, Najah like... built Rage. I mean, when you're down two and five, I yeah. Rage is such a weird pick for me because you gotta get Katie's killed. trying to do something, but not even getting it's not, close. It's not, it's not gonna matter. Then Herc's gonna, yeah, it's oh, the They're just waiting eight. in base. They're like, in the game. Just, 
Just in the suffering. Yeah. <laughs> and hell is coming in and instantly gets deleted. Oh, Naja going into ult? And Sylvanas lives after it while he claims the Naja's life in a flex fashion. Oh, oh, oh. GG's. <laughs> UofL takes the Titan in 15 and a half minutes. 30 to 4 is the kill line and a, what, a 14k gold lead at like is the game over uh, yes it's it's oh, over okay sorry guys you, <laughs> you missed the end what what happened oh no my internet just goes bloop bloop yeah okay so um wow okay uh robin going nine zero and eleven off wash and mid going ten one and eight Oh, that was nutty. Absolutely nutty. So, a uh, 2-0 over NKU is U of L. Thank you so much for watching. It was disgusting. Yeah, that last game was gross.